This month marks my 15 year anniversary as a real estate investor and a wholesaler and a flipper. And I'm actually standing in front of my very first deal in the Detroit, Michigan market. So on this video, I wanna share with you how I did my first deal and then give you three tips for you to do your first deal. And then my number one piece of advice to go from small deals like this one into multi-million dollar deals, all of that and more coming up. For a limited time, you can get a free copy of Jerry Norton's Quick Start Kit with everything you need to flip your first house in 30 days or less. Download it now at myquickstartkit.com. Hey, if you're new here to this channel, I'm Jerry Norton with FlippingMastery.com, and this channel is all about ways to help you make money wholesaling and flipping real estate so you can live your dream life. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss new videos. To celebrate my 15 year anniversary as a real estate investor, I decided to take my family on a road trip from Arizona, where I currently live, back to Detroit, Michigan, where it all started. And being here in front of this house is a very nostalgic moment for me because I'm standing in front of my very first wholesale deal. This house right here was my first deal that I wholesaled for $6,000. At the time, I had a full-time job and I was trying to wholesale houses part-time, before and after work and on weekends. And one day, I was driving down this road right here and I saw a tiny for sale by owner sign in the window. Now, it must have been there forever because I could barely read the phone number, it was so faded. I called the number and the owner answered the phone and he had moved away and it was vacant and it needed a lot of work. And he told me that he would sell it for $12,000. Now, I had no idea if that was a good deal or not, it seemed like it was, so I agreed. Next, I went on the multiple listing service, the MLS, and I looked up all of the cash sold transactions that had happened within a half mile radius of this property. Most people don't know that you can do this, but the MLS can filter sold homes that sold for cash. Those are investors, so I got that list, and then I went to those homes and I knocked on the doors to try to track down those owners. And one of the houses I knocked, the tenant answered the door, and he gave me the owner's phone number. So I called him up and 10 minutes later, he met me at the house. And after walking around for about 10 minutes, he asked me how much I wanted for the house. So I told him 20,000 and he responded with, will you take 18,000, which I said, yes. And we signed an assignment agreement. Since I had an agreement with the seller for 12,000, it was a $6,000 wholesale fee. Now I wanna share with you three tips to help you get your first deal, but first, this deal right here, it represents so much more than just $6,000. You see, it could have been a million dollars. It was my first deal and it proved to myself that I could do this. All the hard work and the studying and the you know, driving around and learning about wholesaling and trying to find that first deal, it finally was all coming together on this house right here. So let me share with you three tips that helped me get my first deal, helped me continue on doing deals every single month. Tip number one, is to plan the time. You have to set aside the time and plan it. It's not just gonna happen. If right now you don't have a regimented daily and weekly schedule for when you're gonna work on your wholesaling business, it just won't happen. Time will slip by, you'll be inconsistent, and it just won't happen the way you want it to. What I did is I planned out my entire week. I planned out the times before work. I planned out the times after work. I planned out what, what I would be doing on my lunch break and on the weekends and I made it a very specific goal to put in the time each and every week. That really allowed me to block it out, block out the time, so that I knew I was gonna be moving forward and working on my business all the time. Tip number two, don't overcomplicate the process. We tend to way overcomplicate things. Wholesaling is not complicated. It is very simple. It's not easy, but it's very simple. Get a contract with a seller, assign it to a cash buyer, two documents purchase and sale agreement with the seller, and assignment contract with your cash buyer. Now, I even screwed this all up. When I got that cash buyer and we signed that assignment, I didn't even have the written contract with the seller yet. I didn't even have that, but I still was able to put a deal together. I later went back to the seller and made sure I got it in writing, uh, but I was so excited about that deal that I, I went and got my cash buyer and signed an assignment without even having the contract yet. My point is this. Don't think it has to be so complicated. Keep it simple. Find a good deal, get a contract with the seller, assign that contract to a cash buyer. Okay, step number three. Find the deal first, then the cash buyer second. 
Now this is contrary to what a lot of people teach in this industry. Most people teach to go build your cash buyer list first, have your cash buyers ready, and then go try to find a deal. I really completely disagree with that concept. I think between the two, the deal or the cash buyer, the deal is always the hardest part of the business. In other words, get a good deal and the buyer comes easy. Right now in today's market, there are buyers dying for deals. You get a good deal and it has to be a good deal and the buyers will come out of the woodwork, they'll raise their hand and it's easy to find a buyer. In this example, which I still follow today, I looked up who the cash buyers were in the area. There are local active cash buyers right now flipping houses and investing and buying and holding. In this neighborhood, it's mostly buy and hold investors and they are looking for their next deal. They just don't want to put in all of the work to go find deals. That's where you as a wholesaler become extremely valuable. You actually can source and find deals and there are active investors right here, all around here that are buying. How do I know? Because I got a list of buyers that paid cash and bought homes in the past six months within a half a mile radius or a mile radius of where the deal is. Those are your cash buyers. Now today I would skip trace and call those, up, call those uh, owners up. Skip tracing is a service where you look up who the owners are, get their phone number and then call them. At the time I didn't know how to do that so I just knocked on the doors. And after knocking on 10 or 15 doors, I found my buyer, met me at the house, signed the contract. Okay, so my point with this is always work on the deal first. When I call up a cash buyer, I don't wanna to say to the cash buyer, hey, if I find a deal, will you buy it? The answer is yes, they'll buy it. But then that's not a very good conversation. Instead, what I like to do is I like to get a deal, call up a cash buyer and say, hey, I saw you bought a house recently in the neighborhood. I've got a deal right now. Are you interested? Let's look at it. Let's put a deal together. And that's a much better way to secure your deals and get your cash buyers. Okay, and finally here, standing in front of my very first deal 15 years ago after doing hundreds and thousands of deals, what I've been able to do is continually progress, continually learn from the business, do more deals, do bigger deals. And my goal with the, as a flipper and as an investor was to push out of my comfort zone and look to do bigger deals. Over time, I got out of this neighborhood, I went into nicer neighborhoods and nicer neighborhoods. I started doing deals around the country and I eventually got to a point where I was doing multi-million dollar deals, which I do today. Now I still wholesale, I still love doing deals like this, but I'm also doing six figure, mid six figure and high six figure per deal profit deals. These are multi-million dollar houses that I renovate and flip or I build new construction and flip. And that's after 15 years of getting, building up to that point. So here's my tip for you to go from small deals to big deals is you have to consistently and constantly flex what I call your risk muscle, your risk tolerance muscle. I started with a very low risk tolerance muscle. I started with low income houses. I made sure that I never had very much out on earnest money and I just, I didn't want to risk losing anything. I didn't have much to lose, but whatever little bit I had, I didn't want to lose it. So I was very reluctant to take any kinds of risk. I since learned that the only way to do bigger deals, higher profit deals, is you've got to take some risks. Slowly and consistently think about how do I increase my risk? Not dumb risk, smart risk, but how do I continually look to do bigger deals and work my way up to there? Wherever you're at today, what does that next step look like for you? Okay guys, I want you to have a nostalgic moment like this where you can come back to your very first deal and you can look at that and say, this is where it all started. I started right here, this is my first deal. That first deal is always iconic, it's always transformational. Uh, I, was, I was jumping up and down when I got that cash buyer to say yes to 18,000, knowing that I'd make a $6,000 wholesale fee. It was one of the most exhilarating moments of my life because I wanted so badly to change my life, get out of that dead end job I was in and, and really provide the lifestyle and the financial means that my family deserved. And that's what it's done for me and I'm so grateful for that opportunity. This thing, this house it just means the world to me because it was my start and I've been able to continually do deals and, and it's blessed my life tremendously. So I want the same for you. You can do it, don't give up. If you're still working on that first deal, it's there for you, believe it is, know that it is, and go get it. It's right there for you. 
Jerry Norton here, and I'll talk to you soon.